guys, John here from NDZPerformance.com. Today we're gonna dive into our SIG P365 XL product family. Let's dive in. First up is a fan favorite, our SIG P365 XL magazine finger plate extension. And so we really were the first ones to go to market with this. When the SIG P365 came out, we saw that there was an opportunity to really increase your real estate on your grip. And so that was kind of the genesis of this product. We really came in uh, solving a pain point that we had hoped that SIG was gonna solve for. They did eventually, I think maybe even initially, release a Palmer uh, version of this, right? That went on the 10 round. Just in, as an aside, this will only fit the 10 round. It will not fit the 12 ohm, but we'll talk about that in a moment. And then when we did that, it was wildly successful. A lot of people loved our product, and so we really naturally just wanted to extend that to our SIG P365 XL product family. And honestly, even with the XL grip, there's not as much real estate as you would have on a P320, right? Which, by the way, we make a bunch of great upgrades for the P320 as well. So when you grab it, you can see that that real estate, if you have larger hands, it actually really does help with operator control, right? And so one of the big things that we did with this uh, is we brought it to the next level by adding some of the serrations on the front for increased grip control. And we made sure that the form factor was the same that you would have throughout the rest of the, the firearm itself. And the reason why we did that is because we didn't want to detract from um, a lot of the natural aesthetics that the designers at SIG did a great job with on the 365 and 365XL. These products come in an array of colors, all anodized aluminum. We do have Cerakoted multicam options for those of you that are looking to spice it up a little bit more, uh, make it unique to yourself. So take a look at our site today and check out our SIG P365 and 365XL. And now we're gonna kick it over to Justin. He's our Chief Range Safety Officer here at NDC Performance, and he's gonna lead you through the installation of the SIG P365 XL MPF. Let's jump into this install of our NDZ Performance P365 XL MPF. Now, first things first, whenever you're working on a firearm, you always want yourself a trusted pair of safety glasses. Next thing you always wanna do is you always wanna make sure that your firearm is clear. So first things first, just drop the magazine out, put it to the side, make sure that chamber is clear. Next thing you wanna do is get yourself a nice trusty punch. Now with the P365 XL magazines, you're gonna see that on your mag plate in the bottom, in the center of the plate, there's actually a hole. What that is, is there's actually a detent plate underneath there that you need to take your punch and give it a little push down. And on the back of the plate, just take your thumb, give a little push forward, you're gonna hear a little click. So what you always wanna do is keep your thumb over that magazine because what happens is, if once you remove that plate, there's a lot of tension that will take that retainer plate and push it right out. So. When you're ready to install, what you want to do is get that retainer plate all nice and pushed down again. And you want to take your new NDZ plate. You're going to see here, there's two different rails. Take those rails and line them up with the rails on the magazine. So you actually give down a little push in the front, slowly give a little push back. Once you hear that click, you know it's nice and installed. You are all ready to go. One of the most common upgrades that you can do to your P365 and 365 XL is upgrade your slide, especially if you're looking to get an optics cut. But if you're like me and you don't want to option out your OEM slide, you can go ahead over to ndzperformance.com and check out a few of our slide cuts that we turn in-house. So this is our Troy slide for the 365. We also have it in the 365 XL. Our newest cut that we have in the 365 XL, you can see it optioned here with our rose gold, one in 10 twist rate, 60 degree crown match barrel. Hot off the press from our CNC shop, we've got the two newest slide designs for our P365 and 365 XL product family. We've got our first design, our Troy design, as well as our Aries design. And so something that we decided to do with these slides versus the slides that we released for the Troy in the 26, the 19, and the 17, which you can also find on our website, nduzperformance.com, is we decided to go with a black nitride finish and so there's a lot of benefits to running a black nitride finish over something like Cerakoting. So one of the biggest things you're gonna notice is it's got a lot nicer of a finish, just from an aesthetics point of view. But this black nitride process does actually increase the Rockwell hardness of your slide. So what that means is that you're gonna have less corrosion, you're gonna have less dings, nicks in the uh, surface finish. It's gonna maintain the lubricity of your slide a lot longer. Right, and so it's just all around like 
if you're looking for a standard, look no further in aftermarket finishes on fire and parts than black nitride. So let's go through a couple of the design elements that we decided to introduce in the airy slide. So we've got one of our 1 in 10 twist rate NUZ barrels here with a uh, 60 degree crown match finish. But going back to the slide, we've got aggressive serrations, we've got porting that you can do for your barrels, we've got a scallop cut, we've got pocketing, and we also have the footprint for the RMSC that's going to fit a wide variety of your micro optics like your Holosun 407, 507K, which is great. And over here on our Troy design, my personal favorite, which we did release for a bunch of Glock models. We've got the side windows, top windows, and then the aggressive cuts and serrations on the front and the back. I like the back serrations here because they've got kind of like that race cut. I, I like that ergonomics more. Um, it's just my personal favorite. Both of them are awesome. One of the other elements here with the window cuts is it allows for the compensation of the actual slide if your barrel is ported. Um, we also decided to keep the nice chamfers throughout to really match the aesthetics of the lower for the pre-365, 365 XL. We thought it was a really well-designed firearm and so we didn't want to travel too much away from the aesthetics that the uh, designers at SIG were accomplishing. We really enjoyed it. We've got a nice engraved NDZ logo in here as well. Just um, kind of run that pride, right? Pockets on the side. And so yeah, that's our P365, P365 XL, Troy, and Aries in black nitride. Next up for our SIG P365 and 365 XL product family, are our 1 in 10 twist rate, 65 degree crown match barrels. They come in threaded and non-threaded. We have a bunch of colors. We've got rose gold, stainless steel, gold, also known as TIN for tin, as well as diamond-like carbon. You can see them showcased in our Aries slide for the 365 XL, as well as our Troy slide. You can see that it looks real nice coming through the window cuts there. It just is a great looking barrel. Now these barrels are match grade. They are the same performance that you're going to find in True Precision as well as Zev. Another benefit that you have when you run an NDZ performance barrel is that we actually not only hand polish the feed ramp, but we designed it so that the feed ramp is actually wider than you would have on your OAM barrel. And so here's a close up kind of showing the differences between the feed ramps and what that's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to run a wider variety of ammunition, obviously 9mm only. We're not saying to put a 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge in. This is just how the bullet actually slides up into the feed ramp for the 9mm. So uh, that is a huge performance issue. You're not going to be basically bound to just buying SIG's Performance 365 ammunition, which they sell on their website. It's great ammunition. But um, you'll notice on that ammunition, it's actually got a much sharper point to the bullet tip. The reason being is because SIG constricted their feed ramps. And so that, I don't know what they were doing there, maybe a marketing angle, but we're here to help you out and make it a little bit easier with your ammunition. And uh, you can find these on our website for about 180 to 190, depending on color and the options that you might choose. And uh, as always, follow our social media channels for our lightning deals. These guys do go up and they do go quick off of our website, so check us out, nezperformance.com. Let's kick it over to our Chief Range Safety Officer, Justin. He's going to show us how to field strip our SIG P365 and 365XL and do a quick installation for your upgraded barrel. So first things first, whenever you're working on a firearm, you always want to be safety first. So get yourself a nice pair of trusty safety glasses. Next thing you want to do is when you're working with a firearm, you always want to make sure it's clear. So first things first, check the chamber, drop the magazine out, chamber's good to go. So first things first, what you want to do is lock your slide back. Put this takedown lever at a 90 degree angle. Put your hand on top of the slide, use your thumb to hit the uh, slide release, and just slide that slide forward. Then you can put your module right down to the side. When you take off your slide, you're going to see that you have your OEM guide rod here. Give that a little push forward and pull it out of the moon-shaped crevice. So put that guide rod down to the side. You want to give your barrel a little push forward, then give it a little pull out. Now, installs the same exact way, just the opposite procedure. Drop that barrel in there, put it down at a 45, and slide it back. 
Next thing you want to do is take your guide rod. You can see a little flat edge. What you want to do is put that edge to the front and then lock your guide rod into the crescent shape of your barrel. Next thing you want to do is pick up your slide again, line up the rails on the slide with the frame, lock your slide back, put that takedown lever down, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us at NDZ Performance or NDZPerformance.com. You want to upgrade your SIG P365XL grip frame, but you don't want to change your OEM one? Well, we have options for that. So we actually sell the 365 XL grip frame pre seracoded in an array of colors. So our grip frames pre seracoded will go anywhere from about 110 to 220, depending on the intricacy of the pattern that you choose. So you can find these grip frame modules on SIG's OEM site for about $70. Um, and we sell ours for around 110, again, to that low 200s number. Pre seracoded ships directly to you. In case you ever want to resell your 365 XL, you'll have an unchanged uh, grip mod there to be able to re-outfit it with. Uh, on this particular P365 XL, we've done some custom engraving. We do have a custom art department here at ndzperformance.com, so go ahead and reach out to sales at ndzperformance.com or custom at ndzperformance.com if you're looking for any custom work. On this, we have the multicam pattern. This is a little bit more of an expensive model. This is going to run you about $200 on our website uh, just because it takes a lot more time to go ahead and get that pattern applied to it. It's a lot more intricate. And honestly, it's worth the price. This looks amazing. And we have our tungsten color. And again, these are all interchangeable with any of our products that we carry across the board. show you what it looks like in tiger stripe. We have a few other options on our website, ndzperformance.com. And I did just want to talk about the uh, grip frame pin that we have here. So this is inserted right here at the back. You can use a punch. I would strongly recommend getting in contact with a gunsmith. And that is our SIG P365XL grip frame modules pre seracoded ready to ship to your doorstep. The SIG P365 was one of the most popular everyday concealed carries since the Smith & Wesson MP and MP2.0, or the Glock 42 and Glock 43. And what they did to build on the ergonomics of the wildly successful SIG P365 is they came out with a 365 XL for a longer slide and a longer grip. And so one of the elements here that we wanted to improve upon really was the magazine release. Now we've done a bunch of magazine releases for other makes and models. We sell them in a variety of colors for the Glock lineup, Glock 42, Glock 43, the 19 and 17 and more. Um, and we thought, you know what, this really would benefit the XL platform having this extended magazine release. So we went ahead and did it. Um, we were one of the first companies to do it. We're very proud of that, and man, our design is killer. So I personally run this on my uh, SIG P365XL, and um, it makes a big difference. Honestly, when you go ahead to drop that mag versus the OEM, it's night and day difference. You'll have to buy one and then leave us reviews in the comments because we just really believe in this uh, extended magazine release. So let me go ahead and show you it close up. And now we're going to kick it over to Justin. He's our Chief Range Safety Officer here at NDZ Performance and he's going to lead us through the installation process for our SIG P365XL Extended Magazine Release. Alright, so let's jump into this install for our P365XL Extended Mag Release. So first things first, always get yourself a nice trusty pair of safety glasses. Next thing you want to do is make sure your firearm is clear. Drop the magazine out. Now, there's two ways to do this. I find it easier personally to actually remove the slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock that slide back. You're going to put the takedown lever at a 90 degree angle there, and you're going to release the slide. Now, always keep a little tension on it because you don't want your slide to come flying forward and fall on the ground or anything. And you just slide it off, and you can actually put your slide right down to the side. Next thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a nice flat pick. Now this is going to help you get between the retention clip for the magazine release 
the mag release itself. On the back of your mag release, you're gonna see it has a little tiny channel. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get your flathead pick inside of that mag release to be able to pull that retention plate. Now we're going to, once you release that retention clip, that mag release is gonna fall right out. Do note that when using our NDZ Performance Extended Mag Release, you need to reuse your OEM retention clip and your spring. So always keep track of that spring, it's very easy to lose. Once your mag release is out of your frame, you're ready to get all set up. So on the mag release itself, it actually has a channel where the spring is actually gonna sit in place. So what you wanna do is put that spring right in the channel and it's ambient extra, so you can choose whether you want it on the left side or the right side. I'm a right hand shooter, so I'm gonna go with the right hand setup. So what you wanna do is put that spring right in that channel and you wanna give it a little push into your frame. Now what you wanna do is take that mag release button and give it a good push in the back. You're gonna see it extend out your frame a little bit. Now you're ready to put your retention clip in. Now this retention clip has an arm on it. What you actually wanna do is you want that arm to be facing up so it locks into place. So turn it around, put it in. Once you hear that little click, you know you're good to go, nice and installed. Give it a little test. And what you can actually do is just take your slide, put it back on, release your takedown lever, and you're ready to hit the range.